other art forms that you feel influence you? Because recently you told me, and maybe you can tell me a little bit about yeah. that, your new project actually has a lot to do with storytelling as well. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, right. So, yeah, yeah, I think I definitely... Uh, It's good coffee, by the way. Oh, I'm glad you think It's so. good Thanks. coffee. Yeah, cool. <laughs> It's got a lot of taste. Um... Yeah, I I don't know. Stuff makes it stuff makes its way inside uh inside the head like we're kind of we're all sponges. Mm. Um or I don't know. I feel like a sponge sometimes just kind of like uh walking around and there's some art forms that really strike me and then some that take time to seep in like at first it's like I reject it and then And then over time, it's like, oh, but I keep thinking about that. Like, what is that? Um, yeah, I think I think there's a lot. There's a lot of different kinds of art that speak to me. I think when it's really, I think at the base though, when it's a uh, when it's the, it's the it's kind of the same values that I go back to though, or like mm -hmm. maybe maybe people aren't thinking of values, and I I don't know why I chose that word necessarily either because maybe that's how uh, I've heard it talked about, but. Um, I think it's the same kinds of things of like, uh, like, uh, like if there's some authenticity in it, like being spoken from someone to communicate. I, I was thinking recently that maybe, maybe art is, uh, about building bridges. Hmm. And I don't know if I haven't thought this through and I'm, I'm not thinking, I'm not also like claiming that it's an original thought because, you know, I don't know where it came from. But right. but it's I th I think it's kind of interesting to think about it I, even just as a thought exercise because, you know, um, f um, it's a art is a, a very specific kind of communication, hmm. and I think communication can have different forms. But I think art in particular, it's it's really trying to say something, to to make a connection, right. even if the connection is just with the artist and and the person. Yeah, put the person themselves, but then, but then also it could be like, you know, like when we witness it, it's like when we see a even like a cave painting or something. That's a crazy bridge to traverse. Like you know, it's like just imagining this huge expanse of time that occurred between us and these earlier uh, versions of us, and then like what they were trying to communicate and that, it, that it still reaches us yeah. is amazing. It, like it spans the space and time. Um, it's possible it, to that nature as well. When you feel like you're, you're very sensitive to nature There's a big plant there. And I know okay. that you want to get a lot of, a lot more plants in this flat, right? Yeah. So, so nature, it's possible that also is a, is a community. I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a, it's, it falls into that category too, in a way. Yeah, I think so. And I think, um, I mean, like, you know, there's people who are making um, art that is, like, designed to be super temporary, like, when it's just um, kind of, like, uh, yeah, sculptures in sand or, or just markings, kind of, like, distributions of leaves or something, and it's, it's, it's not supposed to be yeah. lasting more than a few hours even, and that's incredible to... Absolutely. In to fact, I, 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 I don't know if you've thought about this, given the thought... Uh, that you've just expressed, but um, think about all the time that's put into the preservation of art that's naturally fading away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's like we're trying to preserve it, yeah. but it would be fading away if we didn't, uh, you know, we, we didn't try to, to salvage it in some way. And yeah. in a sense, that's almost like a version of uh, an act of communication with the past or maybe just a fear of losing the past. And it's charming that we're trying to there is efforts that are made yeah. but then as well you know i'm so shocked to find out for example when they're then when they demolish buildings that have been you know uh, up for so oh what happened in notre dame a few a few yeah right. a few days ago that yeah. was shocking but yeah. also when a tree is cut down you know it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. we all this time art perhaps is the only way in which we can communicate with the past and uh, and the fact that we're somehow still trying to preserve it is uh It's kind of, kind of, I mean, I'm thankful for that, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and, uh, and it's, I, I think it, it's remind, what you're saying is so true. And it reminds me of, um, kind of the importance of, um, 
intentionality. Yeah. Because when we are when when anyone is making something or even just like bearing witness mm. and just be just even being somewhere and saying like I see what is I see what this is like um and maybe they're out, they also have the impulse to share it like hey look at this I see this yeah. but even without that it's it's so just the intention of putting attention on something yeah. and to call that out and to say this is worth considering yeah um there's something about intention that is it gets communicated yeah you know like uh like even through objects like you can tell when something has been crafted with care and um and we just feel that it's really it's really kind of crazy how we can feel that even if something is you know i mean maybe there's like cues that we pick up on but it's it's really kind of magical Hmm. to have that communicated through a thing or um or through a series of notes to be like oh someone really like they chose those notes very specifically and and maybe with a certain mood or you know like